Uh, right, I just spent 20 quid on a little rattle gun um, and it looks quite nice and for 20 quid I thought I'd just take a bit of a chance on it. Now it looks remarkably like a Makita, uh, which I particularly like, this is a very good um, drill and it uses the 18 volt Makita battery and in fact this looks like it should take an 18 volt Makita battery. So let's take the battery off this drill and we'll pop it onto this rattle gun and uh, we'll see what, um, yeah, we'll see how it works. So uh, let's pop the camera up here on the 3D printer for a minute. I've got another 3D print running at the moment so there's a little bit of background noise. So, uh, let's flip this screen over. Let's see what's going on. So I'll take the battery off off here. There's the battery, and I'll pop it onto the uh, the new uh, rattle gun. And actually, uh, it won't go in. It will not fit. This battery is four millimeters wider than the base uh, of the uh, the rattle gun. The connections look like they should all fit. Uh, which, in fact, um, yeah, but the only thing is, this is 4mm, or 2mm each side, too narrow to take a Makita battery. So, not wanting to let that spoil my day, in that I would, but I basically bought this without any batteries, so it was 20 quid just for the rattle gun. And actually, it didn't look bad. Um, so, Let's see if we can get this to um, take uh, this battery, which would actually make it a usable rattle gun rather than just something that looks quite nice but is completely useless. Uh, right. So what we need to do if we have a look and um, this is probably going to be a bit awkward to try and focus this. I'm using the stock lens at the moment. If we look in if we look in here we can see that these are what looks like star drive screws. So, what we need to do is I've got a little cheap um, set here. And one of the things I've got in here is oh dear my focusing for a moment. What I've got is a star drive bit. So what I can do is take the rattle gun and at the bottom here there's a there's a star drive at the back there. So I can pop that in there and then get a screwdriver body and undo undo that screw which was easy enough to try and widen out this base a bit now there's another screw in here that this 
star drive is not going to reach. So it's probably time to get a little bit inventive. So what I did is I took a drill. I'll just put this camera down for a sec. Take a drill. Take your Makita drill. What we know works. Put the drill into the chuck. Shove it down here where the where the screw that we, we, we can't reach is. And drill it out. 